welcome back to the show, James Acaster. Hello, Josh. Hello, how are you? Good, thanks. Yeah, good. Yeah? yeah. Good week? Yeah, nice week. Yeah? Yeah. Went to, went to see a play. Classic. Classic so, Acaster. Uh, you, know. you know, culture vulture. Yeah, just a bit. Uh, how was, uh, how was We All Rock You? <laughs> <laughs> I have seen that. Have you? Oh yeah, you I went to it? Yeah, you enjoy? Uh, I, I actually enjoyed it more than I thought I would. But, uh, do you like Queen? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you, do you like Ben Elton? No, not me. It was my sister's birthday, and we all yeah. went as a family. Oh. Um, and yeah, it was. It's when I was younger, uh, when we all lived at home still, and yeah. every birthday she'd want to go and see a musical. Ah. I always would re be really reluctant and really grumpy that I was going. So do you I like musicals? It. I think I think I do, but yeah. I, I just don't think. Yeah, you know, in my head I go, I, I don't want to see this. And then every time I go, I go, this is. I, I've got no time for musicals. <laughs> when they break into song, that's the worst bit. Yeah, well, really, I mean, like, if they could cut that, <laughs> like music and plays, you can't just combine two things. No. It's well, like, like, evidently, I, also I mean, don't the like West End might say different, Josh. They, they, <laughs> they, they proved that you really can. It's gone very well. I also well don't me. like those musical books you get where you press the parts. <laughs> uh, we're talking today, James, about um, embarrassing yourself in front of a celebrity. Mm. I'm not even going to say, has this happened to you? Because I'm presuming <laughs> as a read, it happens once or twice a week. <laughs> All the time. I mean, if you're not a regular listener, James Acaster just gets in a string of scrapes but this life is an ongoing disaster of kind of sitcom proportions um so hit me with your best one uh do you remember lost <laughs> I, I do yeah uh there's a, there's a character in lost um early uh, no not early it wasn't early. <laughs> you gotta keep on guessing Come on for ages. uh it was uh, there's a character he you came in, a, came in very lost, in, i was a massive fan i watched all of it so yeah. I, I i was really but i've really forgiven you it. Yeah, you, you, you still seem past that and yeah. continue to be my Yeah, I know you've got a heart of gold. Now you've that. discovered I'm also a fan of musicals. <laughs> and, I mean, Lost the Musical is going to be <laughs> the best day of my life when yeah. that comes out. Impenetrable. Yeah. Um, but there's a character, it came, came in about season two, uh, called Mr. Echo, was his name. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. he was my favourite character and I loved him. And I was once, I was doing a gig uh, as part of like a, a, a tour with some friends in Nottingham. Yeah. I went to meet my sister and her husband in Chiquitos. Classic. And he, uh, he's not, he wasn't in that. I mean, oh, mate, he was, mate. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he was in Chiquitos. <laughs> but like, my, my sister loves uh, Lost as well. So yeah. me and my sister were chatting. And as we went to leave, I, was, I just went, that's Mr. Echo over there. Sat, sat by the door, Mr. Echo's there. Sat uh, by the door? Yeah, sat right by the door. Does he not even get his own little... No, no way, mate. He sat by the door, with his phone on the table, he was drumming to the to the Mexican music and Chiquito... On his own? On the table, on his own. Jamming out <laughs> Mexican music. So I went over and to you're, him. And you managed to turn this into an embarrassment for you rather than for him? Oh, yeah. I mean, he really was probably really relieved that this turned out the way it did. But first of all, it went well. I went over to him and I said, mate, I think you're amazing and lost. Yeah. He was like, thanks very much, that's so nice of you. It, it was really cool, and then we left, and I went to the gig, and as I arrived there, Josie, uh, my friend Josie, who was on, on the bill, uh, she went, right, come on, we're going to go for some food, I'm buying. I was like, great, where are we going? She said, Chiquitos. <laughs> and I was like, I can't go to Chiquitos. I've just been in there and gone up to a man and, and told him I love him. I can't walk back in there with... A no. different group of people now, and, and everyone else is like, "We're going to Chiquitos, James. We've made up our mind. If you if you want some food, you've got to come to Chiquitos. Otherwise, yeah. you're not getting anything." So I really panicked about this. I was like, "He's right by the door. You can see everyone who comes in. I can't hide from him." Were you hoping he was going to be lost in the rhythm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just get it. He's still he's still just drumming on the table, singing to himself. But um, by that point, he was doing bass using a <laughs> yeah, <for> heater. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, but uh, I, I, I said to them, "Look, I can't just walk in there." Yeah. So what happened? What we did was, one of my friends gave me a hoodie, <laughs> and I, I, put, I pulled the hood up, and then one of my friends gave me a bobble hat, and I pulled that yeah. over the, the hood, yeah. and I walked in with my head down, and we, we were there <laughs> at the door. We had if to wait. Did wait. you eat a second chiquito? Well, I hadn't had a first one. I had drinks, and we actually went to chiquitos for drinks. Me and my sister. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm pretty sure no one really does that. No. It's not really a place where you go for a no, swift we're, half. So just two cocktails, please. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, we're not here to eat. It's a <laughs> happening bar. Did you send over a uh, send over a Bloody Mary to Mr Echo? <laughs> send these olives over to Mr Echo. <laughs> it was like it. coleslaw. <laughs> um, 
But so we had to stand at the door and wait to be seated. And the guy came over and said, oh, I've got one table free. It's uh, right over there. Obviously, obviously, it's the one next to Mr. Echo. <laughs> of course right it is. Ne- it won't, wouldn't be any is. other table in the whole thing. I was like, yeah. I said to Joseph. I wouldn't expect anything less. Yeah. I said, we can't sit there. <laughs> She's just like, well, we're going we're gonna to sit there. Stop being a baby. <laughs> I, I, sat, I sat down with my back to Mr. Echo so he couldn't see me. Yeah. The, I kept the bobble hat and the hoodie on. Yeah. So, uh, and, uh... And the police came over and accused you of trying to rob the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got taken out by the the, the mariachi police. (laughs) But uh, no, I was was sitting there and then basically he got... What did you order? uh, I had a burrito. Yeah, standard. A big burrito. Uh, And I think we we all had some quesadillas to share. Nice. Uh, But Mr Echo got up to leave and he had to squeeze past me, like (laughs) behind me. So I was keeping my head down. And like, and to try to shift my chair forward, and then while I was shifting my chair forward, accidentally I knocked my fork onto the floor, <laughs> and me and Mr. Echo went to pick it up at the same time. <laughs> and at that point, we lo- like we looked at each other, and he saw me, and his face, the fear in his face when he realised I'd come in in disguise, was way worse than if he'd just seen me walk in. The fact that I'd, you can see the confusion. He was had so many questions as to why oh, I'd come in in a disguise and brought new people with me. And he was just, he was so scared. Did you say anything? No, I, I just kind of looked at him, like a rabbit in the headlights, and then he just kind of like gave me the fork, and then he just nodded his head and left. But the, the irony being that uh, that actually became one of the one of the many twists in the third series of Lost. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, he will never know what happened. No, but then that unless is the, he's listening. the spirit of Lost. No, no <laughs> answers to any questions. Josh Widdicombe. XFM. Joined by James A. Caster to discuss what we're we discussing. Embarrassing yourself in front of celebrities, that's it, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I was thinking of it if it had got a clever title. I was going to call it Never Meet Your Heroes. That's good. And I think, yeah. Um, you're leading the league table because <laughs> um, you've, to- you've told us a very long story, an embarrassing story about meeting Mr. Echo from Lost, yeah. who is an unlikely hero of yours. <laughs> yes, yeah. Whose teachings you follow. <laughs> Yeah, all the time, every day. Every day. What would Mr. Echo do? That's the bracelet you're wearing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Avoid you, it turns hands. out. Yeah. Um, any more tweets? Uh, yeah, uh, Chanelio has uh, tweeted in, saying, I was in a toilet stall next to Naomi Harris, the Bond girl. Neither, Presumably neither the st- adjacent stall, not... Yeah. Not, stall, not, not stall. Uh, That's not a very different... Share in the toilet. <laughs> not back-to-back. <laughs> yeah. The Kappa logo. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting Kappa logo. <laughs> Some kind of vile Kappa logo. <laughs> Which actually does look... I mean, the Kappa logo does look like uh, the girls at the beginning of any Bond film. So <laughs> it's, it's, it, w- it would work quite well. <laughs> it says, uh, Neither of us said a word at the sinks. Which I think is only half a surprise. I, I, I think the fact that Chanelio didn't say a word, fair enough, but I don't really... I wouldn't expect Naomi Harris to turn around and go, have you seen the James Bond film? <laughs> like, yeah, that's me. Uh, but she adds, you. but she knew I'd heard her pee. <laughs> which I think is that standard for anyone in the toilet. Yeah. I, I always assume everyone heard that. She also knew she'd heard her because... Uh, <laughs> uh, Chanelio was washing the glass she'd been holding up next to the toilet door. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's, I mean, that's not embarrassing yourself in front of a celebrity. That's, no, I think that's acting. Well, no, acting. That's just a suggesting. description of using a public toilet. Yeah, I think she's suggesting it's more embarrassing for Naomi Harris. But yeah, you know, that is a call of nature. That is, <laughs> she shouldn't be about it as an appropriate place to be. I, I, I realised that the, this week XFM broke the news. There's some Bruce Willis stuff uh, on John Holmes' show. <laughs> But I, I don't think we're, they'll be in the news that Naomi Harris goes to the toilet. <laughs> it's revealed. She does it. And she washes her hands afterwards, quietly, <laughs> not speaking to anyone. Yeah, well, you know, I think that Naomi House, Harris comes out of that smelling of roses. Yep. That's not... <laughs> Especially a... if she used the scented hand soap <laughs> provided in the ladies' toilets. Yeah. I want to know what location that was in. Does it, it doesn't say... Uh, no, the, I mean, Chanelio, if you're, if you're listening and you want to tell us exactly <laughs> what toilet Naomi Harris likes to frequent... Uh, Presumably there's a blue plaque. Yeah, there's a plaque there. <laughs> um, it's above the toilet. Um, also, someone's uh, written in saying, FYI... Good for your information. Oh, thank you very much, Josh. <laughs> uh, Josh, Josh, when it comes... Knows all, all the calls. Uh, 
FYI, the Bare Naked Ladies frontman did a live streaming collaboration recently with an astronaut <laughs> who was in space at the time. I, we'll just make this clear, this is in reference to me wondering what happened to the Bare Naked Ladies. Right. That's not uh, that's someone embarrassing themselves in front of a famous person. <laughs> it's the astronaut. <laughs> yeah, the astronaut going... Singing out of key in space. <laughs> oh no, not in front of the Bare Naked Ladies. In space no one can hear you sing. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what to make of that. I think it's good. I, I think I, I like it, it. They've added who was in space at the time because <laughs> if an astronaut isn't in space at the time, they're just a normal man. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't no, quite frankly, there's no fuss. Oh, on base, Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> This is uh, actually Buzz Aldrin is a good name for a bassist. <laughs> Buzz Aldrin, yeah. <laughs> Buzz Aldrin, a soul bassist from the seventies. <laughs> He's one of those people you'd get in a documentary about Motown on BBC4, Buzz Aldrin, yeah. looking haggard. <laughs> we all like Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> Buzz had a groove no one could touch. One take Aldrin. <laughs> Josh Widdicombe. Yes. XFM Podcast. This is XFM and this is Josh Widdicombe joined by James Acaster. And we are talking about celebrities that you've embarrassed yourself in front of. James as a... Topped it so far with his Mr. Echo story, but also the man who asked Vernon Kay what time Friends was on. <laughs> is running you, <laughs> running you close. Um, any more? Uh, oh, here, you'll find this very interesting, Josh. It says, I saw you, Josh Widdicombe. Oh. Oh. In, in a pub is in Is this Hobart. from you? This is, this is me. This is, oh, this is me to take, tweet it. I, I told you a story about Mr. Echo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw you, Josh Widdicombe, in a pub in Hoban at Christmas, which... Sounds bang Not, on, by the way. Yeah, classic, exactly. with, classic with cakes. <laughs> Hoban, Christmas, Josh will be about. Uh, <laughs> well, let, can I make that clear? Not Christmas Day. No, no, obviously I'm, not. Uh, that would be that would be a bleak day for both of us. <laughs> Just the two of us. Still a pub in Hoban. Um, she says she stared at you a lot while her boyfriend argued you weren't famous <laughs> and that she was freaking out a stranger. Um, I... I, I take it that means her boyfriend was saying it wasn't you rather than you weren't famous and you're not <laughs> worth staring at but uh I don't was, know I don't know I mean, if I was her boyfriend and my girlfriend was just staring at another man all night I would probably argue, do any argument to stop her from staring at him I mean. particularly when it's a beefcake <laughs> such as myself yeah it's like who's that hunk of burning love over there <laughs> Well, I think we can all agree that's definitely, definitely the best tweet we will ever have. Uh, <laughs> well, she didn't embarrass us. And um, I hope her relationship doesn't last much longer because her boyfriend sounds like an idiot. 